going on, patriots and MAGA and Republicans? Uh, Y'all probably heard about that whole Project 2025 thing that our Republicans have got going on for us. You know that thing that whenever they're saying that next time we get some Republicans elected in the White House, uh, be, be old Trump or any other Republican gets in there, we get that House and that Senate, they got this plan for us that they're going to give that give that president all the power. You know, he's going to be in control of like the Federal Trade Commission. He'll be running all the businesses. They'll have to answer to him, all the private businesses and the EPAs and the, the IRSs and the Department of Educations, all that stuff. He'll have total control of that. Uh, doing away with that Department of Justice. Um, so there's no checks and balances and stuff. I mean, making him the ultimate executive. You know, kind of like our own personal dictator, you know. Well, the way they're going to have to do that, see, is they already do this thing they call gerrymandering. I don't know if you've ever heard of that, but what they do with that is they'll, they'll take these voting districts and they and they make funny shapes out of them, just almost like crop circles in a way. They, they draw their boxes around all the Republican voters, and, um, and then they keep all the the Democrat voters on the outside of those boxes. These things are just zigzag all over a state, you know, no matter what funky shape it is. As long as it's all Republican voters inside that shape, they'll call that a district. Then when people go vote, well, there ain't no Democrats in that district to to vote for, for a Democrat. So it's all Republicans. See, that's how they win those things. If they didn't do that, see, then, then our Republicans wouldn't win anything. And, uh, well, that Supreme Court had already told them, you got to stop doing that now. But uh, they just give them the middle finger and say, well, we're going to do it anyway. And uh, so they know that without doing that, uh, they can't win. And then they do this thing called voter suppression where they make it hard for people like, you know, the minorities and stuff to vote, you know, uh, make it hard for them and all. And, that, and that's how they win. And, you know, that's our guys, you know, just that old nasty, brutal stuff just to, just to win some elections, get some power uh, because their ideas aren't popular at all among most people. So anyway, uh, they're going to do that hardcore this election because they really only have one more shot, you know, getting power. And then they can get that old Project 2025 going, never have to have another election again. We got our dictator in. He's our guy. And Democrats won't have nothing no more. You know what I mean? I mean, that's a good plan. Don't you like that? I thought you did. Anyway, I uh, figured what we'd do, though. Uh, what do we think if uh, old Joe Biden, since they've already got the power right now, uh, if he went ahead and implemented that for himself right now and just made himself a dictator, gave himself all that power, and made sure that no Republicans ever held office again. And then old Joe Biden became a dictator, and whenever he decided he'd uh, retire, step it down, he might give it to uh, Kamala Harris. Hell, he could give it to Hunter. You know, then Hunter would be president for, for a long time. He could have him a good 20, 30-year reign. Anyway, I mean, just to kind of test it out to find out if we would like it, we'll go ahead and let, let old Joe Biden do that. Let them Democrats try it out first to find out what we think about it before our Republicans do it. What do y'all think, patriots? Inmate Trump, 2024.